Hey guys. Hello. How's it going? Day six. Mm -hmm. Coming at you. First of all, we just want to say tomorrow is a rest day. So Fine. we're just going to let you chill tomorrow. Okay. Maybe look up the mobility wad on YouTube and see what Shannon put on there for y'all. Um, I don't know if it's going to be nice enough to go for a run, but if you guys didn't do Oliver's running wad, you're more than welcome to do Oliver's running wad tomorrow too, but it is a rest just day. Just put your snow boots on. <laughs> well, I don't think it's going to be snowing tomorrow. Look at the weather. <laughs> okay. Question of the day today Ooh. is provided by Jacob. Oh, it's for me? No. Provided oh, provided by, by me. Yes. So what, which Disney like characters fantasy world would you live in and why? I'll go first. <laughs> I was going to, oh, right. mine is definitely Moana because you're tan 24 seven. Uh, and you're living on a freaking island. Like, what can be better than that? You get to sing these awesome Disney songs. <laughs> it's the best. And she controls water. And does yeah, you get to control you know, water, and like your grandma turns into like some type of <clears throat> sand. Cool. stingray. Yeah, the stingray. <laughs> it's a good yeah. one. So I'm going Beauty and the Beast. I like the Beast because That's he's great. he's like strong and powerful, but he's got a he's got a good good heart. He's misunderstood, and he's. He, he has deep love for Rose. For so, Rose? No, I mean, not Rose. <laughs> Belle. Yeah. Got a little overlap here, a little crossover. Are we in Titanic? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, he has a great love for Belle. Ends up, you know, just let, you, letting her you die or no, let, no, letting him gives, on the door in the ocean. No he, Rose. Gives, no, he gives it all away and says, go, even if I'm going to die because the last petal falls on the rose. That's why I call it a rose because it's a dang rose trapped in the thing. And anyway, then it falls. anyway, <laughs> Esther, Let's yeah. hear it. So, I would choose Peter Pan because one, he can fly. Yeah. Two, he doesn't age ever. <laughs> Amazing. Three, he can do whatever he wants. He can fly into different islands. He hangs out with the mermaids, the all his friends and everything, and he helps lost boys. And doesn't he have powers too? No. no. Well he Just does fly. he does in once upon a time. If you guys have seen that. <laughs> I still don't oh, the show on Netflix. I still don't understand what is the point of Peter Pan. Like all the other things have a point. What is the Point. What is trying to happen in Peter Pan? I don't get it. I thought this was for kids who like don't have their like their dreams didn't come true or something or like they uh, uh, something right because he helps all those orphans and they fly yeah. with him in the in the cartoon. Yeah. And I Tinkerbell help people helps. with their dreams. What about Tinkerbell? Tinkerbell is my fairy peasant. <laughs> <laughs> she does whatever I want. Hey guys, day six wad. This is what you guys are gonna have to do today. Okay. <laughs> This is your challenge for today. You guys are going to have to perform a handstand on a very elevated surface. Okay, you're going to have to hold it for the entire time of the day. <laughs> the entire day. So, that's the challenge for today. Love it. Okay, to warm up for that though, we're going to have to perform our warm up, right? Okay, so we're going to do a Tabata. We're going to do eight rounds 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of jump rope or jumping jack. Look at that wrist flex. Okay? Then we're gonna do three rounds of a 30 second handstand hold in your elevated position. Oh, I'm sorry. Then we're gonna do 10 pike push ups. You can either do that in an actual pike or you can do it off of an elevated surface as well. Whatever you guys want. Then we're gonna do 10 classic squats. Look at those quads bulging out of the pants. All right, then we're gonna perform our Megcon. It is a 20 minute EMOM, okay? Minute one through 10, every odd minute, you will perform five devil's press. Remember, devil's press starts with the burpee, okay? Then you stand up with the dumbbells, swing them, and perform a double, basically dumbbell snatch. Okay, burpee, and snatch. That is, it's like a snatch and a 
metabolic flame combined into one. Okay? So that we can do five of that in the odd minute from minute one through ten. Then in the even minutes, you guys are gonna perform ten renegade rows. A renegade row is push up, right arm row, push up, left arm row, push up. That is one. You're gonna have to do ten in the even minutes. So minute one through ten, you guys are alternating between doubles press and renegade rows. Then minute eleven. Through 20, you guys will be doing K dumbbell cleans. Awesome. Then for the even minutes, you guys are going to be performing five overhead single arm air squats, five on the right, and then switch over and do five on the left. That's the even minutes. Okay? Perfect. Then we're going to go into our challenge. The challenge is, you're going to do two rounds of this. Just set a timer or set a stopwatch on your phone, whatever it is. You guys are going to perform a dumbbell overhead hold for however long you can maintain it for. Okay? Make sure that core is tight and that butt is squeezed. You're going to do two rounds of that. Your score is the slowest time that you have. Does that make sense? Whenever you bring the dumbbells down, that is your time. Okay? Then we're going to go into our non-dumbbell workout. We're going to start with the same Tabata, eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of, if you don't have a jump rope, jumping jacks. Perfect. He's actually doing a sink rope. Then you're going to do the same thing, 30 second handstand hold on a wall. You guys forgot what a handstand hold looks like. This is what it looks like. Then we're going to do 10 pike push-ups. 10 Cossack squats. And then we're going to go into our Metcon, which is also an EMOM, a 20 minute EMOM. Minute 1 through 10. The odd minutes will be 10 incline push ups. So find whatever kind of surface you need, elevate it, and you guys are going to perform 10 incline push ups, getting that chest all the way down to the surface. Then, even minutes. You guys will be performing 20 alternating pistol squats. If you guys cannot do a pistol squat like this, you are more than welcome to use a surface to help you. A chair, you can use a wall, you can use a doorknob, whatever you prefer, okay? 20 total, alternating. One, two, three, four. Then, minute 11 and 20. For the odd minutes, you guys are now going to be performing decline push-ups. So, putting your feet on an elevated surface and getting your chest all the way down. And then for the even minutes, you guys are going to be performing 20 alternating pistols again. Okay? We also have a challenge for the non-dumbbell. You guys are going to perform a plank hold on your forearms as long as you can. I want to make sure that when you guys are doing this, once your butt falls, like that, that obviously does not count. When your butt goes up all the way, it's in a pike, that doesn't count. You have to be completely straight and hold it for as long as you can for two rounds. Your score also for this is your slowest round, okay? So enter all your scores on Wadhopper and let us know how you do and what fantasy you would live in. Wow. You're bad. Wow. <laughs> Bye guys. See ya.